Oh man, where to begin? It was like almost to the date, almost to Optic Day, almost to August 14th, when I got the opportunity or the message that said, yo, Optic could be yours again. It took about two months to get the deal done. After that, we get into January. Originally, the plan was to turn everything that was energy into optic. Um, and, you know, in theory, everybody agreed to it. But, you know, when it came down to the deal, the deal terms, it just, uh, it just didn't make sense for, for whoever, right? So I said, fine, optic is not something that, that can be contained or that can sit on a shelf, right? This is optic needs to run free and wild and and i decided to to do what i am always going to decide to do i am always going to choose what's best for optic i feel like i've been in this quicksand pit over the last three years since i i sold right i've, I've been i've been losing my footing trying to you know trying to get optic back to where it was it's not just you know just one entity that is optic right it's optic and then there's the league and then there's this and there's that so it's not up to me and optic how quickly this thing gets done right there's a timer on it and whether or not uh we're able to meet certain deadlines by certain time i mean it's just it just uh that didn't have enough runway sort of funding this thing by myself it hasn't been been easy right if i had all the time in the world that's one thing you know, fortunately, we were able to to find a partnership that that made sense for Optic. Just got a big ass dollar here, so you can do it full out. I'm not trying to tell you. No, this is right. We're laughing because we're like, oh, he's what the fuck. Yeah, he's got to eat us. I'm walking. I'm walking. You're saying this is something that we've tried to do in the past. This is something that we we tried with Eon Interactive. This is something that we tried again when we tried to put in the bid for Optic when Infinite sold to Immortals. Uh, we were the ones that put in this bid, right? So we've tried to make this this sort of alignment happen for a long time. And the only one thing that was always sort of in the way was timing. And second, whether or not uh, the fan base was going to be okay with, you know, sort of having two iconic brands uh, come together, uh, you know, as one. I was going to finish on that. I think it's super important that we all feel like all of our teams and brands are under one roof and that we can openly cheer for all of them and promote them and do those things. Like, you know, I, I don't want to change anything about Optic at all. And I don't really want to change much about Envy and the Fuel, right? We collectively as a group just didn't go, it's like... We understood, right? This is, this is like the, you know, call it, level three of esports right and it's going to get to level 100 at some point in the future so everything that we're doing right now is sort of building blocks as to how we're going to build this this foundation of what esports is going to be so we figured you know what none of this is going to matter 10 to 15 years from now you know what i mean like everything that we've done is going to be thought about is going to be reminisced about it so we're gonna respect this period of time in esports of course but when you're playing at this level, right, at the maturity level that esports is getting to right now, you have to make the most uh, with what you got. You know, one, a, uh, a a group of people that understand what esports is from top to bottom that aligns with how I think that esports is from top to bottom. That to me is what makes this decision that the decision that I needed to make. As much as it's been a little bit um, of a of a of a bumpy road, right? It's a, a little bit of a bumpy road getting this done. Like my workload has become a little bit easier immediately, right? The one thing that I've always wanted was to have optic with resources, right? You cannot ever discount the fact that I built what I built by myself. It wasn't until the last year of optic that I got help when I brought Jay on to handle some stuff. But up until that point, I was CEO, partnerships, manager, GM, I was everything, right? I didn't have the cushy help that everybody else has right now, right? I don't have those resources, never had those resources. And when it was time for me to have those resources, when they were available to me, those resources, I took it. Everybody who is a businessman would have took the deal that I took. Trust me, you would have, okay? My excitement comes from the fact that now, living in Texas, living here, having settled, having had the, have, having the hex quarters, now is time to sort of put some gas on this fire. And that's something that no one has ever seen. No one has seen an optic with me at the helm with resources, right? All I ask is that you judge me 
by my, I'm not even telling you to look at my history. I'm not even telling you to go see, you know, who brought you the big T's, the Nate Skis, and the Scumpies, right? The Fwizzies. I, I, I'm not telling you, look, my, my, my record's there, and no one's, no matter how much shit you talk, no matter how much you like me or don't like me, you cannot erase what I've done for this industry, okay? Having said that, you guys have to judge me by the things that I'm going to do in the future, right? Not by some make-believe story that you're making in your head about something. The one thing that I've learned in the last three years of doing what I'm doing and fighting for this thing back is that I did the right thing in 2017. In December of 2017, when I sold Majority of Optic, it was the right move. If I've learned anything in the last three years, it is absolutely that. The way that things happened after that may have not necessarily been exactly what I had planned in my mind, but it was no way for me to foresee that. But the fact is, is that the fact is, is that Optic was ready to grow up. Optic was ready to have a, a CEO that wasn't juggling 9,000 things. It was time for a CEO that was only focused on growing the business side of Optic. While I continue to be the visionary that I always set out to be, that is a fact. That's what I've learned. And now I am happy that I have the help that, you know, that I've needed. I will always do what's best for Optic. You guys, I, I, I cannot begin, I, I, I guess it's not clear enough, you know, what this logo means to me, right? But it is everything, right? Family aside, this is something that I believe in. This is something that I love, and this is something that I will take care of and nurture for the rest of my life. This isn't something, it, I think people think that because I had a, 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 a an exit of sorts that I, you know, where, where I became, you know, wealthy, that that meant that I didn't care about this thing. But my vision as to what this would have been with the resources that we had is not what ended up happening. And that's in the past. I don't even want to talk about it anymore, right? Like, I, I, I don't know how to explain, but to do what I have to do to keep optic optic right and i think that my actions speak louder than my words and i always lead by that sort of example i'm not gonna sit here and tell you this is what my plan is because it changes it's a moving target every single time you step on this field right what i want people to understand is that you know i know what i have to do to make sure that this brand continues to to thrive i know what it is that i gotta do to make sure that we escalate, that we scale to where we need to be, to where we were at the time of the sale. I know what I gotta do, and I'm gonna do it. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit.